the minions are back and bringing a stack of wacky bananas with them. One of the most successful animated franchises returns with the fifth installment in the series, that's if you include the Despicable Me movies. Now this prequel shows the development of the relationship between Gru and the lovable but silly minions. Now I'm a firm admirer of people who create entertainment for children, so I thought it made perfect sense to view this with the children who are the intended audience. Now the plot revolves around young Gru trying to join his favourite villain league, the Vicious Six, led by head honcho Bellbottom, played by Taraji P. Henson. Now they turn him down and he steals from them to prove his despicable nature. Now if you came looking for plausible, sensible plot lines, character development and satisfying character arcs, then grow up. This is a Minions movie. The kids came to see the Minions get themselves into more and more ridiculous and funny scenarios and they don't disappoint. In fact, the only complaint from the kids were it felt too short. And the Minions of course take centre stage with Gru being the thread that ties things together. The San Francisco 1970s setting and soundtrack should appeal to the parents as well as some of the voice talent involved. I was delighted to find Jean-Claude Van Damme voicing Jean-Claude and Dolph Lundgren voicing The Vengeance as well as Wu-Tang head honcho and hip-hop legend Deriza voicing a drifter who helps one of the minions out. With such well-known celebrities, I thought it was a shame the villains were underused and didn't get to do more. I was hoping Jean-Claude would do the splits at some point or The Vengeance might say, I must break you, but it didn't happen. Standout award goes to another scene-stealing turn from Michelle Yu as Master Chow, their Kung Fu Sensei. When Michelle said she would be in everything, everywhere, all at once, she wasn't joking. 2022 has certainly been a standout year so far for Michelle, and in fact she even appears in another big animated feature this month, which is Paul's of Fury, The Legend of Hank, hit cinemas July 15th. Minions to Rise of Gru is a solid addition to the franchise, possibly one of the most fun entries. It serves its purpose, which is to provide a platform for the Minions to extend their particular brand of gibberish talk and silly antics even further through a series of outrageous scenarios. It will delight kids and irritate adults looking for a higher quality cinematic experience. And if you really found it that offensive, then the Minions have one word for you. Banana. Yes, 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 good night. Good night! Oh. Yeah.